Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you my authentic chicken stew recipe. So guys, if you're interested in this video, keep watching. So for this recipe, I'm going to be using the strong chicken. As you can see, my chicken has been thoroughly washed and cleaned. So now I will go ahead and add it into the cooking pot. Then I will set aside. To seasoning my chicken, I'm going to be blending all the spices. So here I have some fresh rosemary, some fresh ginger, fresh garlic, and here I have some curry powder with turmeric, onion powder with garlic powder. some dry thyme, fresh onion, and two chicken seasonings. I'm going to add everything into the blender, add in a little water and blend. Then I will pour the blended mixture into the chicken, add a little water into my blender, shake and pour it inside the chicken as well. So now I will season with salt, then mix the coat well with the chicken. So now I'm going to place the pot on the heat. Then I will cover and bring it to a boil for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add in some chopped bonnet pepper. Then I'll add in some water and cover to cook until the chicken is nice and tender. So for the other ingredients, here I have my tomatoes already drained, some scotch butter pepper with onions, and also I'm going to be adding some dry fish. Adding this fish is going to give the stew extra flavor. The aroma from the fish combined with the chicken is going to be fantastic. So guys, right now I'm going to go ahead and blend the pepper with the onions. Set aside and I'll be checking on the chicken. Hmm. Guys, I wish you can feel the aroma that is coming from the chicken. It's so, so fantastic, so yummy. So guys, I'm going to go ahead, take out the chicken from the pot. Then I will pour the stock into a bowl. Do not drain the stock, just take out the pepper and set aside. So here I have a pan of oil on the heat. I've just added a half onion, garlic, then I'll add the chicken to fry until the brown and beautiful. So guys, you can see how beautiful the chickens are looking. So I will go ahead and take them out of the oil and set aside. So I've just fried half of the chicken and I will leave the other half unfried. So guys, now I will place the pots I use in cooking the chicken on the heat. Then I will drain the oil I just used in frying the chicken into the pot. Then I'll add in some chopped onion, curry powder with thyme. I will stir fry for 2 minutes, then I'll add in some tomato paste. Then I will stir fry this for 3 to 5 minutes. After which, I will add the blended pepper mixture with the drained tomatoes.
then I will give it a quick mix. Cover halfway and leave it to fry for about 20 minutes or until the tomatoes is completely dry and make sure to stir occasionally so it doesn't burn. So now I'm going to add some chicken seasoning, give it a quick mix, then I'll add in the dry fish. So I'm going to cover halfway and leave it to fry for 5 to 10 minutes. Then I will add the chicken stock. Mix the combined. Guys, I'm telling you, if you have not tried this recipe, go ahead and try it because the aroma that is coming from this stew right now is everywhere. It's so yummy, super delicious. So I've just added the chicken, adding a little water, then I will cover to cook for 20 minutes. guys after 20 minutes my stew is perfectly cooked look at how beautiful the stew is looking and the aroma is everywhere so delicious so yummy so guys this is my authentic chicken stew recipe go ahead and try this recipe then you will know why I call it authentic because it's yummy it's 100% delicious and the aroma is something that you can never wash off your hands. So guys, go ahead, make some white rice with plantain or white rice with white beans and enjoy. I hope you loved this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Just hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the post notification so you don't miss any of my videos thanks for watching i'll be seeing you in my next video